When preparing a concrete block wall for air and water barrier, the first step is to clean your substrate. First, start by scraping the wall to get rid of any stuck on debris from the construction site. Next, sweep off the dust and wipe down the wall with a sponge and water. Now you have a clean, smooth surface to work on. Apply two coats of the air and water barrier directly to the concrete, both 15 to 22 mils thick. You can check the thickness by using a film gauge. Drag it about an inch down the wall and check your reed. When the first coat is dry, apply the second coat using the same thickness. When the second coat has dried, you are ready to begin installation. First, start with the Z-channel. Pre-drill your screw holes and then screw the Z-channels in, making sure they're level. Put in one screw every 8 inches up and down the wall. Next, install the rigid insulation. Screw in another Z-channel and then repeat the process. Now it's time to install your Gridworks channels. First, take the bottom channel and screw in screws at every point where the Z-channel intersects the Gridworks channel. Because the Z-channels and Gridworks channels are made of different metals, they must not touch. Put a spacer behind the Gridworks channel to avoid direct contact between dissimilar metals. Do this at every point as you work up the wall. Next, set a string horizontally to determine the fat spot in the wall. Then, insert additional spacers at thinner spots to ensure the wall is level and plumb. When you're done with the bottom channel, clamp on temporary vertical channels to help your workflow up the wall. Make sure everything is level and plumb and move on with your Gridworks channels using a 9 inch spacer as an aid to set the next channel. Repeat the process ensuring the channels are properly spaced and level so that the wall is plumb. When you hit the point in the wall where you intend to use a bullnose or a 4 inch stretcher, set the beams an inch apart. Then continue up the wall keeping the channels a standard 9 inches apart. Remember to put a screw in both the top and bottom of the channel along each Z channel. Then sweep out all of the channels getting rid of any debris. Now to put in your stone. Set the bottom of the stone in the track to begin. Place the foam tape on the underside of the L bracket and then squeeze the bead of silicone along the L bracket over the foam tape. Then set it in the top kerf of the stone. Next, positively engage the stone with your elbow and use the wooden mallet and a wooden block to click the stone into the system. Next, install the vertical water blockers by engaging them into the channel, ensuring they click into place. This will act as your vertical joint. Move to the next stone, then slide your stones together. Repeat the process with profile errors clip and with smooth errors clip. Put the bottom of the stone into the track, cock the L bracket, then click the stone into the system. Follow that with your vertical water blockers, then slide your stones together. 